What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media One, and today we are back with another cool product to review. Today we got a cheaper product, but this is a very good one. This is the Photolex Portable LED Camera Light. It's small and it's compact and it can do everything that you need it to do to film your greatest shots. So let's get straight to the unboxing guys. Let's go. Like I said, super light and small. It comes in a box just like this, so you can tell just how, kind of how big it is. Um, it just has this slidey top, so we don't have to really cut anything. So we're just gonna slide this back, get that off there. Underneath here, we have our USB charging cable. You can see that it goes from USB-A to USB-C, which is very cool. Also on top, we have our cold shoe mounting stuff. So this allows us to mount it to our camera bracket, tripod, whatever's easier for you and whatever suits your specific situation. So you have this bolt here and then you have these two nuts. These are going to allow you to put it inside of the cold shoe, slide it inside of there, and then you're going to run one of these down so that you can make your adjustments on how tight you want it to be. Then your other one's just going to go right on top just like that super easy um let's get to the lights so the lights right here and as you can see right off the bat there's two different mounting points so there's one at the bottom and then there's one at the top it has this cool design graphic on the front shows that it is magnetic there you can see that right there it also says hello tofu and we got our two knobs on the side you can see these knobs and they rotate both well this one rotates in both directions so does this one but the, uh, this one does have a stopping point as you can see there there is a button here that says m and i'm guessing that's going to be a memory setting then we also have our usb c charging port here so we can plug it in right on the front which is cool most of these uh you have to plug in underneath and i like that it's right on the front there super easy to get to so you can mount this, like I said, in either direction. You can screw this knob on top, or you can screw it underneath. And that'll allow you to make adjustments depending on what you need to mount it to, right? So if you're mounting it on a tripod, either direction is going to be fine. So we have our two buttons here, and you can see on the front that it already has a built-in lens on here, which is very, very nice. But these buttons here are going to allow us to turn it on, and these are our different modes. You can see how bright that is right out of the box, guys. That is a powerhouse. Look at that thing. That is crazy. So this is an adjustment knob here. One of these is going to allow us to change the Kelvins of light, and the Kelvins of light is going to affect um, your temperature. So as you can see here, this is moving down into 74, 72, 7100 range. I believe this one goes all the way down to about 2500 Kelvins, which is very, very good. It's a warm light. And so you might wanna use a warm lighting situation depending on what you're doing. That's gonna be your warm light right there. And you can see how bright that is. Still looks very good, very warm. They did a very good job with adjusting there. As you can see, we can move it up here. We can change that. So that changes our intensity. It gets a little bit stronger there. Underneath here, we have our other knob. You can see it right here. This knob is going to allow us to control our different settings. So we can go red, if you like. That's just a different filter. And then we can change this to like a, a strobing effect. Right there. Which is kind of like an SOS strobe, which is cool. Here we, we can't push in on these buttons, they don't push in, but we do have this one here and that's gonna be our brightness adjustment. So if we click this one time, we can see that it's going from total brightest it can get all the way down. And so you can move your and adjust your brightness. So right now we're at about 50% and then we're gonna move it down to about 23% and we're gonna go all the way down. Let's see where it goes. It'll go all the way down to, I guess, zero, uh, 1%. So that's 1% right there, which is still pretty bright. But this is great for allowing you to adjust your brightness depending on what scene or what type of photo you have to shoot. 
If you're filming a video, you're going to want to adjust this as well, depending on how much ambient light you have directly behind you. So that's 1%. Let's go all the way back up. We're going to crank it all the way to 100%. So we're at 70, 80, 90. There's 100%. 100. You can just see how powerful that sucker is. This is plenty of light. Um, as most of you know, if anyone that has filmed or done any photography, your main light, it has to be directly in front of you. And so this could be used as your main light. This could also be used as a secondary light or a staging light, depending on your circumstances. But I love these small lights. Why? Because they're battery operated first, which allows you to have a lot more versatility with the light itself. Um, the fact that it's battery operated allows you to move it around and uh, not have to worry about cords or cables, right? So that's a huge benefit. Also, this one has a, a magnet on the back. You can see it right there. And the magnet's gonna allow us to stick it to different locations if we have something metal that we want to attach this to. So that's a huge benefit. And uh, like I said, they last a long time. If you can see here, it's kind of small, but there's a battery level indicator on here. And uh, these things last a long time. Um, on low brightness, which would be the lowest brightness setting right here, which would still give you plenty of light in like a, a dark room or something like that. These things can go for a day or two. And that is just impressive. I mean, an entire day or two on a battery, you don't need anything more than that. Now, on peak brightness, on the brightest settings, it could still last for up to a day. So, these things do last a long time. They're going to last you your entire shoot. You just have to remember to charge them prior to doing a shoot. Um, I kind of like how this is transparent here, and you can see through it. I think that's super neat. You can see everything inside, like the circuit board, the PCB, and things like that. So that's just cool. It is a simple light, but it is not too pricey. Your input on this is five volts and it's uh, the power is six watts. And uh, like I said, this is a cheaper light, but for the price, these are well worth having. I have several of these um, lights and they're just wonderful. They do diff come in different color options as well. The Photolex portable LED camera light is a small and compact light that is easy to carry and use. Its unique tofu appearance makes it easy to hold in one hand. It is small in size. It makes it perfect for on-the-go photography. The light features 60 LED bulbs with 20 of each warm, white, and RGB. They provide a wide range of colors and brightness levels. The switch knob physical button and stepless wheel makes it easy to adjust the settings and choose your perfect lighting for your shot. The Photolex camera light is, a, is powered by a built-in 2000 milliamp rechargeable lithium battery, allowing for up to 10 hours of use on its lowest brightness setting. The Type-C 5 volt charging port allows for easy charging and the light can be used while it's charging, ensuring you never miss the perfect shot. The built-in diffuse panel provides warm, soft light that smooths out shadows, making it perfect for selfies, vlogs, and still life photography. Overall, the Photolex Portable LED Camera Light is a versatile and easy to use light that is perfect for anyone who needs portable, high quality lighting for their photography. Whether you're a professional photographer or a casual hobbyist, this light is sure to help you capture stunning shots every time. Another cool effect of this light too that I like here is that if you go here, you can change this. So if we change it to red, we can change the colors here by rotating this knob. So you can see it's not just red. I mean, it goes to yellow. That's a very bright yellow. And it's kind of going through all the color spectrum. So if we see Roy G. Bid, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, it's going to go through all of them. So there's purple, which is kind of cool. This is if you just want to add some really cool ambient light to the background, too. I know that uh, people do a good job of, like, hiding some of these lights in, in objects, and you can put it behind you and then you can hide it in an object and you can shoot it up. There's different things that you can do. I know that some people get extremely creative with these, but I did want you to see that that is an option as well. You can see the color changes, there's blue. And so we're going through all of the color spectrum just by rotating this knob. That is something that you may or may not use, but it's nice to have the option. And like I said, you just flip it real easy to get back. 
I like that these buttons are very large here. They're dials, so they rotate super easy. They do click, so you can tell when you are making the adjustments, which is very, very nice. Overall, guys, I think this is a great little light to have. It would be great for shooting in any environment, and I highly recommend it. I will leave a link in the description down below if you'd like to pick up your very own. Other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That will allow you to see future videos when we make other videos about cool little tech like this. We try to make videos for everyone, right? So the low budget people all the way to the top dollar people. We want you to have videos so that you can see how these products act in real life before you go out and purchase your own. We don't always recommend everything, so we are pretty honest here. However, I do recommend this. Thank you guys and have a great day. Later.